An academic from the University of Huddersfield is teaming up with a university across the Atlantic to look at interesting new ways to control music, artificial speech and sound. Dr Ian Gibson, a senior lecturer in the School of Computing and Engineering, is a visiting professor at the University of British Columbia in Canada. He spent some of the summer collaborating on the development of new computer systems which can be applied to music performance and the control of electronic singing. Traditionally, electronic sound synthesis is controlled using music keyboards and controllers which mimic traditional instruments. For example, the position of the keys on a keyboard control pitch, and as you strike them harder, the volume or amplitude increases. The problem is that digital sound synthesis offers us many different aspects or parameters of sound, and we need to look for new and innovative ways to perform with them. One area of my research examines the use of voice as a controller for electronic sounds and instruments. The voice changes in pitch, timbre and amplitude, and most people have considerable control over it. It's like an instrument which we use and practice on a daily basis. These parameters can be tracked in software and used to control other sounds. The team at the University of British Columbia are examining a number of ways of controlling sound. One example is using a data glove. The user can make gestures which are translated into controllers for sound. A possible application of this is to control synthetic speech. Also, it could be used to control electronic sounds in much the same way as a conductor of an orchestra might do. And on the subject of orchestras, networking through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth has meant that electronic instruments can now perform together. Of course, there are a number of problems that arise, such as how do we keep all the devices synchronised and performing together? We need to design electronic software instruments which are appropriate for this environment. The accessibility of technology, such as tablet PCs, has meant that we can incorporate exciting new methods of control, such as touchscreens and movement. The challenge is to produce systems which are usable, which allow the performer to practice and improve, and which will ultimately provide an enjoyable and engaging experience for the audience. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.